guys, it is me from the future. I went to edit this vlog and my whole beginning clip where I introduced everything was blurry. So, um, I'll give you the gist. This is a reading vlog and I'm reading new romance releases. Last week I spent reading four giant fantasy books and I was like, I need to stop. So I decided to pick up some contemporary and some romances and I really wanted to get to though, um, From Blood and Ash, I think by Jennifer R. Armitrout. I'll post that picture here. And this is Jennifer Armitrout's new surprise release last week and I got a copy of it from the publisher from the tour company. I don't I don't think it's I think it's self polish I don't know but I didn't get to it this week so I'm really sad about that but I want to make sure you guys knew it was out and then I read four of the books this week and that's all I have to share with you and I'll go get to my reading and you'll see what I ended up reading and if I liked it or not hi guys um I'm about to film my March wrap-up I read 27 books this month um nine more audio so I read 18 actual books so that's really good for me and then listen to nine audiobooks which I didn't realize I listened to that many audiobooks but I am about a hundred pages into We Are the Wildcats. I had my live show with Lacey and Lisa and that was a lot of fun. We read for half an hour and then we talked for an hour and a half so I'll link it down below if you want to see it and we'll definitely do it again in April. We Are the Wildcats is not that great so far. It has six points of view and so the first six chapters is the first like 70 pages is literally introduction and I'm like we're already almost a quarter of the way through the book it's 350 pages and we still don't have a plot it's all but if they made the team or not and talking to the families and their friends and I'm like this is super boring and then I forget who is who because we have six different POVs to figure out and who's friends with who and who played what position and it's just I'm getting into the finally good stuff and I'm on page well, 110, so it's just slow. Also, my pre-order for Tara Moffey's book from Barnes & Noble isn't coming until Monday and it came out yesterday, so that's lovely. I looked at it and I was waiting for it and I was like, why hasn't it come yet? And so then I looked online and it said it's supposed to be delivered on Monday and I ordered it a week and a half before release date for the pre-order, so I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not going to be reading that for this vlog anymore. I might read um, Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson because I feel in the mood for a thriller, so that recently came out, so I might pick that up later this week, but I'm going to off to film my wrap up. Hi guys, so not that much farther. I'm on 120 and the coach is texting her like no, the team captain and they've been texting since she was a freshman. I'm just like no, like it's, it's like friendly texting but I'm just no, no. So I don't know where this is going. Um, she like asks him for the jerseys then for their like midnight ritual that they do but not a fan so far, but I really don't want to DNF it because I'm already 120 pages in, so I'm just going to finish it, but not feeling this one right now. Hi guys, it is Thursday. It's Thursday. I just had uh, work all morning. I had a meeting at 9 and then that lasted an hour. And then I've been grading and adjusting lessons online for kids, but I did finish. We're the Wildcats and I'm going to give it two stars. This was all about how manipulative the coach was and how he took advantage of the girls and severely manipulated them like he would text them and lie to them and I don't know how realistic this is at least in my experience my dad was super super involved in my sport with me and none of these parents were really like that involved but I feel like Oh, there were so many parents on all of my teams who were heavily involved and like talked to the coach and I feel like this coach got away with so much that he shouldn't have. There's really only one parent in here that had an issue with the coach and then like he like played all the rest of them and I just didn't like it and most of the story was told, it takes place in one night which I knew but most of the story was told in flashbacks so we'd get someone's perspective and then she would go on for three pages about like something that happened in the past and I'd be really confused whether that was happening currently or in the past and that happened in almost every chapter we got some sort of reflection about the past and so I really didn't like how this was put together in the storyline and I just hated how it was all about that coach and then the girls weren't telling each other what was happening and so like it all came to light but I was like if you had a best friend on the team and the coach was saying something to you wouldn't you tell your teammates 
and like none of them were telling each other what had happened so that felt like it was just too much for the plot and I didn't care about anything that happened because the coach just made me so mad and then the ending I'm like so I gave this two stars really sad I wouldn't recommend but I just had really high expectations and it didn't go well so yeah I think the coach aspect is what I really didn't like about this but I'm gonna start the happy ever after playlist by Abby Jimenez I'm gonna take my dogs on a little stroll and I'm listening to an audiobook that's not part of this vlog so um yeah that's all I have to update you on so I have a lot of Outlander to watch today and I only have two episodes left of Tiger King so we'll see when I watch that my sister works tonight so I'll have some time to myself but I'm definitely gonna start happy ever after playlist I think Lisa and Lacey were gonna start it around the same time I was so we might be doing a buddy read so we'll see and that's all I have okay bye well I came to read and there's no room for me I'm gonna have to sit all the way over there look how cute you are <laughs> I started this. Hi guys, so it is uh, 7.30 I think and I'm 100 pages into the Happy Ever After playlist and the beginning, I wasn't a huge fan of the writing but now I am obsessed with this romance. They start off so like she finds this dog and the owner doesn't actually like say anything for two weeks. She like texts the owner and this number and the microchip is the same as the one that's on the tag. So she keeps this dog for two weeks and finally he responds because he's in Australia on a tour because he's a musician and he's like, oh my God, you have my dog. And she's like, uh, you haven't responded in two weeks. Like I'm keeping it. And he's like, no, 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 there's a miscommunication. I didn't have any service, blah, blah, blah. So they start corresponding over text message and like starting to like each other through text, which is super cute. I really like romances like that. I think I might do a video recommendation where people fall in love it's like epistolary but i don't know what it's called if it's text messages like epistolary romance is like they fall in love through letters or text messages like that i don't know so i'll probably do a video of that soon so it's probably already going to be up so i'll link it if i've already done it but it's so cute so far and she's really broken from what happened to her in the previous book so i'm actually really enjoying this and i can't wait to read more so i was wary going into it um and i don't know why so yeah I'm gonna go read more. My hair is just looking a mess today, but tomorrow's Friday, so that's fun. Hey guys, so it is, what is today? today? Friday? It is Friday. I just filmed a video, and instead of doing the romances where the couple, like, meets through text or letters, I decided to do a good guy romance because I was swooning so much over Jason's character. So I'll link that down below. It's, like, the nice guy. Jason's so determined to show sloan that he's serious and that he loves her and it's super super sweet and i'm obsessed with him and i am 80 pages from the end and there is a trope that i really don't like that was just put in here it's not the surprise pregnancy trope that's one of my most hated tropes but it's something else that makes the main character doubt the hero and so i didn't like that but I'm trying to not make it personal and I'm definitely giving this at least a four star right now. I'm waiting to see how this whole drama resolves at the end so we'll see but I'm really enjoying it so far and I cannot wait to finish. And then I do have Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Rye that I think I'm going to read next. I'm just super in the mood for romance after reading this so um, I have the e-arc of that and that's coming out in april it's book two to the right swipe and this one sounds really cute i think like she goes viral for something and then hires someone to be her bodyguard i think and then they fall in love i'm pretty sure that's what it is which is funny because alicia ride went viral recently about <laughs> tweeting about her date i remember reading the tweet and i was like oh that's funny he like bought two cake pops for himself and didn't offer her any and it was a really funny tweet that that alicia ride did so yeah that's what i'm gonna hopefully reading next and Tahara Mafi's book's coming today, apparently. But then I also want to read Jennifer Armitrots, and then I also want to read that Peter Swanson. But then I have a fun video idea I want to do soon. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just want to read everything at once. We'll see, but I'm reading this, and I'll talk to you guys later. We officially finished our second and last puzzle in the house. So all websites are out or shipping in three weeks. So we might steal some from my parents again, but look how cute. Look at Miss Lily. Oh, is she leaving me? Okay.
Lily left me. Hi guys, it's a uh, Saturday. Let me make sure this is focused. Okay, I had my live show last night on Jacqueline's channel and that was a lot of fun. I don't know if it's gonna be like a weekly thing, um, but I will link it down below if you're interested. They were 14, 15 of us. So there was a lot of us, but uh, I got to find some really fun people to follow on YouTube and they're all really, really nice people. So check out that live show. If you want to be able to follow, all of them are linked down in the live show. But I started um, Girl Gone Viral yesterday and so I read about 80 pages of that during our live show. It was an hour of just reading. And I'm torn between a two and a three star for this book so far. I'm 65% of the way through and I just don't care like the story is very slow and katrina something bad happened where we don't have a total picture of what actually happened to her yet still and i'm 65 percent of the way through and our uh, bodyguard jass i think joss joss he uh has a bad past too and i still don't understand what happened to him either and i'm like can we just like be told in the beginning what happened to them and so that we like get the whole picture and literally the first 40 percent is her just like going to his farmhouse because she went viral but she doesn't like attention at all because of what happened in her past so she's freaking out about it that she went viral that people are gonna know it was her so it's okay it's not at all what i thought it would be and i'm bored and a lot of the thoughts are taking over the romance. So it's like struggling with their families and all that stuff. So very disappointed so far. We'll see if it gets better. I hope so, but I don't have high hopes. Hey guys, it's 7.30 on Saturday. And I don't think I ever finished telling you about this. Um, I finished it. And I'm giving it like a four and a half star rating. There was something happening that I didn't really love. And I don't know, I wasn't like completely in love with the ending. Like it was good, but I still really, really enjoy this book. I do think if people didn't like book one, they would like this one better than book one because of the ending of book one. But this was still such a cute romance. I loved how there was a dog. I loved how there were just two people in love and their situation didn't let them love each other as much as they wanted it to. That's all I can say. I don't want to spoil too much, but really, really, really like this. And then I finished Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Rye. And I'm giving this one two stars. It, I don't really give romances that low of a rating, but... I, so there was just like no point to the story and it was very much overshadowed by their individual issues like Joss's relationship with his family and then is it Kristen her relationship um not a relationship her past and we still didn't really get the full picture of what happened in her past which I didn't really like I feel like that was not built up at all like we know why she was married but we didn't like I feel like we didn't get good enough background about that we didn't get good enough background about what had affected her so much in her past and so i just honestly did not care at all the romance would have been cute but it just wasn't and i feel like the book was really 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 boring so two out of five stars i feel so bad it comes out later this month so it's up to you if you want to check it out or not and then i did start uh to have into hoax by i think martha waters it is a historical fiction and i realized i have an er govern i've had one for like three months and it comes out on tuesday so I needed to read it and I'm 25% in and it is historical like I said and we have our main characters um it's Violet and Adley I think is the guy's last name they always talk about last names in historicals and they have to get married because they're caught in a compromising position on Violet's like debut into society so she's 18 he's 23 and they have to get married and something we flash forward five years and something happened four years ago that really pulled them apart so now they like don't barely even talk to each other and she gets a letter saying that he's been wounded and is unconscious and might die because he fell off a horse so she freaks out and then she shows up and he's fine um he did go unconscious and fell but he was fine and he was like mad that she was mad that he was fine because she was so worried and he's like i'm fine and she's like they got into a fight so now she's trying to pretend to be sick so that she gets him to feel the same way so it's like a back and forth and they hate each other but they had a spark for like a year in their marriage and it's really cute so far i'm really enjoying it we'll see how things go um but i i think it's really cute so far so i'm obsessed with the cover 
and I wish I got an actual copy of it, but Atria didn't send one to me, so I requested it on NetGalley and got it, but yeah, check out, I think I said, I got sent two copies of this on accident, so check out my Instagram, I probably have a giveaway up, if not, I will have one soon, um, I think they just accidentally sent me two copies, but that means I can give one away, so check my Instagram out, and that's all I have right now, so I need to change and hang out downstairs. We got some more puzzles, so we're gonna be doing those. Yeah, I've been running outside, so I ran outside today and taking the dogs on a walk every day, and that's about life right now. It's the weekend, so I'm making myself not do any work on the weekends um, because it's easy to like work every day because uh, my kids are working online. That's it. I'll touch you guys later. Hi. She just came inside, so I don't know why she's being weird. Hi guys, um, it's Sunday, and I am 80% into To Happen to Hoax by Martha Waters, and it's fine. The whole plot hinges on the fact that they don't communicate, so he, I think I told you guys, like, he, she thought she was hurt, so she went to see him, but he wasn't actually hurt anymore, so she got mad, so then she pretends to be sick. He knows that she's not sick, but doesn't tell her that he knows, and so then she knows that he knows. It's kind of like that friends thing, like, they don't know that we know that they, whatever that quote is. So, but they don't talk to each other about it, and now we're at somewhere else, a point in the plot where, like, there's another misunderstanding. So if you don't like not communicating and misunderstandings causing relationship issues, you're not going to like this book, and I feel like it's going by very slowly, like, not enough is happening for me. I am excited if West gets the next book, though, if this is going to be a series, because West is James's brother. James is our main character. It's oddly, I think I said Adley before, it's oddly A-U-D-L-E-Y. I think. Do you see that tail wagon? She's being silly. I'm not talking to you, Darcy. And so it's it's fine. Um, I do think this is gonna be the last book I'm gonna read for this vlog. I don't have time to pick up Jennifer Armstrong's book. I have another vlog that I'm starting uh, soon that is very exciting to me. So I want to start reading those books. So I'll read Jennifer Armstrong's book probably next week um, and have this be the last book of my vlog. This book comes out the seventh. So if you're interested, check it out. So I'm gonna finish it tonight. And then check with you guys tomorrow one last time about how it went. Um, I do, I like the concept and I like how they're like fighting because there's something that happened to them four years ago that they're still fighting about but won't talk to each other about. And I don't think I even know what it is still. Like I know one part of why they got in a fight but I don't know what caused that fight. Unless I completely missed it, I don't think I know. So we'll see about that. It's just, they have a fun banter but it's like just talk to each other and this all would have been solved four years ago so yeah that's it so far i'm gonna read with my pups i don't know what darcy is doing to lily do your dogs ever just like stare at each other like they're gonna do something and then just keep going like it's normal life they're silly 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 okay i will read tonight and check with you guys tomorrow i turned my camera on and i was blue so now the color's adjusting um i'm here to close out this vlog it's been quite a week of reading um i did finish to happen to hoax by martha waters and i'm giving this three stars it was just like like i said all miscommunication and at the end again i was just like just talk to each other and you'll be fine and it was just okay i was more bored than not and not the historical romance that I wanted so three out of five stars. I officially read four books I believe for this vlog and I listened to an audio that I didn't talk about Ball Peen Hammer by Lauren Rowe. Give that four stars. It's such a fun series. This is a stripper romance so he is a stripper and has to go on a car ride with a girl that for as a favor to his brother and they end up liking each other so it was really cute if you like that she's a filmmaker so that was fun and so everything I read we Are the Wildcats by Siobhan Vivian, two stars. The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez got four stars, four and a half, almost a five star. Love this one, definitely my favorite of this entire video. Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Rye, two stars. And To Happen to Hopes by Martha Waters is a three star read. And then Ball Peen Hammer got four. I think that's all I read for this video. I don't think I read any other arcs, did I? 
pretty sure I did not. Okay, I guess I only read four books, but that's fine. I don't remember when I started this vlog. It's just like, I don't know what day it is anymore, but that's all I have for you. So let me know down below if you read any of these. I'm gonna do a video where I go through all the new romance releases that have been released in 2020 so far and talk about my thoughts on them. So keep your eye out for that video and let me know how you're doing and what you've been reading. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.